everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are back yet again with more WWE and AEW action figure news, man. I mean, it seems like every single day I get on here, there's brand new news to be leaking out. There's brand new stuff to talk about, about the reveals, about Comic-Con coming up in just about, what, 12 days or something like that, man? So, again, like I said, as we approach the date, man, the closer and closer that we get to SDCC, the more reveals, the more rumors, the more leaks that are going to be coming out until the big day where we get all the reveals, man. But I have some insane news for you guys today, and we're just going to dive into it because it's it's absolute insanity, okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and dive into it, man. A huge shout-out to Havoc Figs for finding this. I don't know exactly where he found it, but putting it up, guys, you guys will see WWE Hollywood The Rock, and it looks to be an elite-style packaging. As you guys can see right here, it's very odd. As you guys will see, it's like this blank stare Dwayne Johnson right here. You got The Rock. It says WWE Hollywood. You got The Rock there with the figure and the massive torso. So he's got the tattoo there. It looks like he has his updated tattoo over there as well. But you guys will see the interchangeable hands and stuff. Like, at first glance, this totally looks fake, right? Like, it absolutely looks fake. And what we've got going on right here. As we can look at the front and the back of this packaging, man, it, it, it just, there's a lot of things to take in. So if you guys did not notice, on the back of the packaging, it says The Rock, Luke Hobbs, Fast 2 Furious, Hobbs and Shaw from the movie, you guys get it, WWE Hollywood, all those different things. On the back of the packaging there, it says Rowdy Roddy Piper, John Cena, The Rock. So is this a brand new WWE Elite figure of The Rock from the Hobbs and Shaw movie? That is what it appears to be. Now I've been, like, I looked at this and I thought immediately, okay, this has to be some kind of custom or a fake or something, but the more I analyze it, man, I think this is legitimate. Now a lot of people are going to be like, is this the SDCC exclusive and stuff? It is not the SDCC. SDCC exclusive, okay? I, I actually know the SDCC exclusive, and this is not it. However, like, you could look at the true effects, you could see the Elite logo up there in the top right, and also, if you notice on the back of the packaging, it has the official licensed WWE sticker on the back, which pretty much authenticates these things and stuff like that, so that's something that I don't think can be replicated unless somebody took it off of a of another Elite and then stuck it on there, but I think it would get ruined. But it looks like this is taken in somebody's house or their apartment. You got, the, like, the keys laying there. Luke Hobbs, Hobbs and Shaw, The Rock, you guys can see the big torso there. I'll plug in an image of what The Rock looks like from that film and everything, but this seems to be a really cool line. So, I am going to go out on a limb and say that it is real. I think this is real, and we're going to be getting a WWE Hollywood set featuring John Cena from the new Fast and the Furious 9, you know. I think this Rowdy Roddy Piper will be from the movie They Live. I think that's what the movie was called. But that is just absolutely insane, man. This is something that you wouldn't typically see. That's why I think this is just insane insane news like they, that they would even come out with this and it's kind of even funny because I've even played around with the idea of making customs of guys from movie like it like I thought about one time doing the rock from Baywatch I thought about doing John Cena from the Marine I've thought about doing those things multiple times and having like a Hollywood shelf in my in you know just in the in the MDT room or whatever you want to say but just comparing all the clues and stuff man I think this is legitimate and I think this will be announced at San Diego comic-con that we're going to be getting a WWE Hollywood elite set now I don't know if it's going to be exclusive to a, to a certain store, probably either Amazon or Walmart exclusive or something like that if I had to guess, but this is really sick, man. I think it's awesome, and I'm looking forward to what the John Cena looks like. Maybe it can even help us build upon other John Cena figures in the future, depending on the choices of, of body parts and customs and, you know, all the different things that they choose to do with it, but I think this is badass. I'm actually a really big fan of this, and we'll just have to see what, and see what, you know, Roddy Piper, John Cena looks like, exactly what The Rock looks like underneath this, uh, this little waist wrap here, but but I think it's awesome. You guys can let me know what you think of it down in the comment section below. But uh, very unique, very cool stuff. I always love stuff like this. It's kind of outside the box for WWE figures and stuff. So there's your hint for the SDCC exclusive, outside the box. But not only do we have this brand new WWE Elite Hollywood line, man, we also have a leaked image of the brand new Amazon exclusive Chris Jericho 2-in-1 figure. You guys remember that we had those leaked 2-packs, right? Well, my man Prince Unmatched is back at it again, man. And we described this in our other video about the leaked out stuff about the AEW Chris Jericho figure with the two jackets in the Amazon. So just like the, you know, the gear pack or whatever that we talked about with the SCU and the John Moxley and the Darby Allen. This is called a gear pack, and I'm hoping that we get even more gear packs. You guys can see it says eight pieces. You got the back of the packaging with Chris Jericho. He's got his white jacket on there. You get the two jackets. You get the AEW microphone, the scarf. It looks to be like the Series 1 slash Series 6 figure kind of combined with the head sculpt and the tights, and this this is the figure that we saw on display, and it comes with an extra white 
white jacket, which I think is super sick. I love these play sets and these sets and these packs that we're getting from Jazzwares and AEW, man, because it just makes it fun to be a collector, right? Like the weapons pack that we reviewed just the other day, and like these just, it's just, it just kind of gives you nostalgia because it reminds me of the Jacks WWF days where we would get just random packs of weapons and gear and just really cool stuff. So I'm really enjoying this Chris Jericho. I think both jackets look great. I think the Chris Jericho looks great. Really excited for it, but I knew you guys would be interested in an update in that, and it looks to be completely official now. If anybody was doubting, it is official, as you guys can see. I think at San Diego Comic-Con, we will get an update on the two packs with the SCU, on the John Moxley and Darby, on this AEW Unrivaled Amazon Exclusive Jericho with the two jack and one. I'm sure we'll even get some prototypes of, you know, Unmatched Series 2 or 3. We may even get some AEW Unrivaled Collection Series 7 or 8. It's just going to kind of depend on a bunch of things. Jeremy hasn't really released much information on that, but all of these different things kind of point to that. And you guys know we have that four pack and everything, so just a ton of stuff coming out, man. But I think SDCC is going to be a very busy weekend because we got, you know, like I think there's like a few sets of reveals on that day, and I'm going to try and wait till everything's in one. If I have to do it in separate videos, then that'll be the case. But not only do we have the two in one Amazon Chris Jericho gear pack, not only do we have the WWE Elite Hollywood set here, but we also have leaked images of mock AEW Unmatched Series 1. Now, I know we've taken a look at some of the figures in the set. I think we took a look at Miro, but the figure didn't really look good. We also had like some Darby images, but here today, guys, you will notice that we have images of Miro, Kenny Omega, Darby Allen, Britt Baker, and we also have... LJN Cody and a look at the Chase Cody so this is going to be really excellent man as you guys can see all four of them here the packaging looks amazing like I'm super psyched for collecting these things mock you guys know that my man Kyle Peterson really uh, helped me out there he, he really inspired me to start a mock collection I started my mock collection I'm liking the way it's looking so far I will say that I don't know how anybody can keep up with room and like storage and stuff that's something that I'm still learning as a as a fresh mock collector but starting out my collection man these look amazing in packaging so I'm really excited for those and that's something that I used to not even think twice about but now it's just out of the it's just crazy man the blue background the silver writing and stuff the unmatched collection really sick can't wait to see what these look like on store shelves and what kind of shelf space they get and stuff so that's going to be really fun as well but taking a closer look at these figures man the first one that we do have is kenny omega i really love the kenny gear the kenny gear is really sick i'm still kind of questioning the head sculpt i don't know if i like it i love that he's determined i love that he's pissed off really like Kenny Omega in that way, but I don't know exactly how I'm feeling about the total likeness of the figure. I think the Series 4 head sculpt is just a tad better, and I think it'll look better like, you know, just head swapping it, getting different fix-ups and stuff that we can do is going to be really cool, but I love this, uh, just this attire. It looks really badass. The Kenny Omega looks great, and the Unmatched Collection for Kenny is great, and he looks amazing in packaging as well. I really wish, like, some accessories were better, but uh, you guys can let me know what you think of this head sculpt. It really reminds me of those old classic, you know, Kenny Omega Elite customs that we used to make, but that had the HBK head, or the, the head from the HBK with the DDP hairpiece is what this really reminds me of. But moving on, guys, we also have even more, and we have Darby Allen. Now, the Darby Allen is one that we already seen before, but just taking another look at it again, it looks amazing. Again, I think this one is better than a Series 1. I like the head sculpt on it. I like what we got going on the skateboard, the TNT Championship and everything. Again, a little bit oversized there. Maybe they'll tweak that in the future, but I like the way this Darby Darby looks and it's it's just so sick man I think I yeah this is great I can't wait to just get this in hand um, I have a lot of the Series 3 Darby, but I only have one that's out of the packaging, so I'm really looking forward to getting another Darby to pose around and stuff, so that'll be really fun as well. The next one, guys, is going to be Miro. Again, we've already seen the Miro. This is a better image of it. I think it does look a lot better here. Going to be uh, interesting once we get it in hand and stuff, and I am looking forward to that. And I actually was uh, contacted by Magic, who is a designer for this line, and he said that the kick pads do rotate, which I really appreciate. Hopefully every figure moving forward will have that. Huge shout out to my man Magic for that. He is an absolute beast. Love this line. Love the kick pad rotation. Hopefully that will continue. But not only do we have Miro, guys, we also have Britt Baker, which is a new figure that we have not seen the head sculpt of. And the jacket looks really good. I like the glove. I like the articulation. This figure looks like it's going to feel really good in the hand, like the, the articulation and things like that. I think the likeness is super nice. You got the Dr. Britt Baker there, DMD, on her jacket. Of course, it is a rubber jacket. However, figure looks really good. Head sculpt looks good. It looks like it's going to feel good in the hand. Those are all things that I can always get behind, Brad. So that is going to be really nice. Britt Baker looks good. You got Miro. 
You got Darby, Kenny, and then we also have a look at the LJN Cody. Now, we have both images here. We have the mock regular version here that says Cody Rhodes. You got the light blue and gold packaging, which looks incredible. Again, I'm not the biggest LJN guy, but this packaging is super sick. It says free Cody Rhodes poster inside. It says this is awesome over there with the AEW and the awesome there. And then you also have an image of the Chase variant, which will be in the red and white tights. Now, I don't know what that looks like, Mock. I don't know what's going to be, you know, on the packaging or anything at this moment. But the figure looks pretty cool, man. I'm, I'm, I'm digging what we got right here and everything like that. I think that's awesome. So we have all of Unmatched Series 1 completely Mock, you know, images looking right there. I think that's the full wave. Am I missing one figure? That may be all the... No, we're missing Dustin. My bad. We're missing Dustin from the mock figures. However, it's still really dope. And then we also had the two-in-one Amazon exclusive Jer Jericho gear pack. And then we have the Hobbs and Shaw Rock Elite, which is just super crazy. Can't even believe that's even a thing. You guys will also notice on the Elite Hollywood figure, it doesn't have double jointed arms. So that could be, you know, I, I think they're implementing the double jointed arms immediately in the Elite line. But then I think like other exclusives and lines, it's going to be a minute until, you know, it's got to be stuff that's brand spanking new that they haven't been working on for a while. So I guess we'll just have to wait until that is the moment. But man, what insane news. I would love to know what you guys think of all of this down in the comment section below. Before we get out of here, though, I do have to get into our random shout-out. And this shout-out is going to go to TNB Gamers, who says, I feel like it's been forever since the last toy hunt, and I think we're actually going to be going on a toy hunt tomorrow. So yeah, you can look out for a good toy hunt coming up tomorrow, I think think i think it'll go up tomorrow so just stay on the lookout man it's been kind of dry in the area hopefully some new stuff will hit and uh everything like that but i think the toy hunt is going up tomorrow should be pretty good stuff but a huge shout out to you man appreciate you uh stopping by and let me leave me a comment down below for a future shout out but i'm getting out of here guys thank you for watching subscribe to the channel and don't cross the line you cross the line